Scott is a human's human. He's a dancer's rival, a DJ's envy, envy and a poet's friend. He also helped bail me out of jail one time. I'm, I'm totally serious. <laughs> His work moves like a nighttime bike ride, taking you to places that you didn't expect to find, even if that place is as familiar as home. Like a good pop song, his language lifts you to, a new, to new planes, but is carried by deaf layers of lush restraint rather than saccharine refrains. Here, imagination is joy, and joy can be found within many vessels and voices, from the hushed and the exclaimed to even the dead panned. You may have heard that the trees love wind. Well, it's just as true that we love Scott Allen. Scott, Scott Allen. So I'm afraid that if I were to thank anyone, I would start weeping uncontrollably, so I'm not going to thank anyone. <laughs> um, but I hope and believe that you know who you are. I'm going to read five poems. This is called The Big Boom. It starts with an epigraph from the New York Times editorial dated October 9th, 2010, titled Thank You and Good Luck. There are still many, many mysteries, but suddenly it was possible to say with real precision just how old the universe is. 13.75 billion years, and that it was made up of measurable percentages of things we still don't understand, 73% dark energy and 22.4 dark matter. Only 4.6% is the ordinary kind of matter we actually know something about. In the beginning, the beginning, what had begun, in that pre-beginning, in the nothingness, the dusk, the darkness, the pre-dust, pre-darkness, in the pre-darkness, we made pie from darkest fruit, bruise-colored sweet spheres, deepest, darkest, sweetest. We ate it there, in the dark, moaning our pleasure. There were no words then, but we learned to push dark energy towards one another, like wind. We had hopes, or at least I did, that the dark energy, if not the dark matter we were sitting on, could be developed into some kind of code or language. But in the end, or rather in the pre-beginning, dark energy was too nebulous. I yearned for the others, but the dark matter and energy were practically useless. But how could one tell without time? Life felt impossible then. We didn't know, or at least I didn't, that things would change, that change was possible. There were no verbs then, change was a noun. It was, well, a kind of substance. That first change was quite a shock, more shocking than finally being born, and even more limiting. We didn't know then that change, like language, would define everything. So there we were, sitting on our dark matter couches, only sensing each other from the occasional wafts of dark energy blowing about. I think I was imagining screaming in that primordial way we had then, that pre-primordial, like bathing in a black hole now that I think about it, now that I can think. <laughs> well, those couches or whatever were rather comfortable, but then we didn't have anything close to bodies, no dimensions even. I didn't know it was coming. I don't think any of us did. And then all of a sudden, boom. Menagerie. He wants to be an ineffectual old man, stooped in amazement, bent from years of wonder, from carrying sky, nearsighted from searching the ground, hard of hearing from listening closely. Now, it's not as if the earth grows stale as a crust of bread. Rather, in the beginning, the darkness was good. The God made a place for itself. Think of our inclination towards sea monkeys swimming in a jar on the kitchen counter. We've known some fantastic creatures. An apt metaphor, stream of. Sure, accepting sleep in the so-called scientific findings that vision is spliced with spaces so that we see in clicking projector reels, life flicking unlike a stream completely. Lives unwind with mood, emotion, desire, but blood flows in currents, pulls against our veins, or we sleep in the stream, feet up against oncoming rocks. Shadows of paddles on the water, pulping notebook pages, submerged and nesting in the wakey hum. Rivers run down into the ocean-filled cauldron, volcanic bubbling, smoke beneath water. Words, creation, sea creatures, knowing no daylight, but living off the core heat, belly up, eyes, flat black disks, hovering in the nano-darkness, never lost. What an odd. It's the sun, for one thing, the sum of its heat, glacial transference, stained glass. Who has recognized time as such? Into every hollowed hour, something fearful in summer's passing, something unbelievable. Is this the final universe? Are you planning on making many mistakes? You might as well, you will. 
Match me word for word, cough when I laugh, and also let me lie close to you, lean into you. History of soccer, history of sport, history of philosophy. You and I are of the animal kingdom. We are each other's favorites. You are sleek like a muskrat out of water, the sleekest of all animals. Take the stick with the hair on it, put it in the paint, put it on the board, repeat. I'm rich with words and proper pronunciation and what of it. Glandular comes the day, liquid, paint it wet, draw it dry. Interpreting the raw stuff of the universe, and yet I have some answers, and yet I keep them secret. Size of a pepper flake, sequoia seed, size of an infant's eardrums. What is likely, and what is not? Are we not quite foolish? I say, lovely, and you, you say, lovely, lovely. This is give blood, cover your plants. You make choices, what you can afford, grass-fed, the problem of pain. Even when you rise and fall, you are covered in skin and full of bones. You have organs, liquid moving orbs for eyes. Follow lines, try to make it work. Divert the inflow, drain the lake. Slog through the mud and look for watches, flip-flops, keys, piece of fear, piece of fish. Rabbits are terrible in their quivering flesh. Eat your roughage, lettuce, turnips, sleeks, broccoli, celery, beets. Grow peppers, tomatoes, give blood, cover your plants. What the fear of fear of not enough? What the things you've done and those you didn't do? You want a poem without birds, without rhododendron. Folding chairs are terrible chairs. Apologies domino one into another. The voice that sounds like my voice has quit its chant of, what's wrong with you, what's wrong with you? Now it whispers, calm down. But my hair's on fire, calm down. But my teeth are bleeding, calm down. But everything is shaking. This is Tim's Like the River for Claire. I hung my basket of hopes, woven with rosaries, lined with garlands, goat hair, held milk in alabaster jars, rosy toes nestled, tail flicking. I carry your whistle with me, locked inside my mouth. I like the length of you, toe to tip, and breadth of shoulder blades swimmingly formed. It is dark and living, grown over with weeping, stumble through with eyes light, but that is all sound of living things, and underfooted softness. A tree of fleas makes buzz, birds feast, bees flee, a wee boy looks for deeds to do, sees her cutting out and sewing up, singing with her hands. On spring, the boulder creek, you walked rock walls, worked your way up the water's run, created funnels of air from swimming, you creep you, inchworm, you caterpillar, dandelion snatcher, cricket dancer. This singer is a cricket, severe of trick and swerve. Before names of places, that kind of field. Plains before roads, pre-fences. When the ground comes home, we talk of the day, speak each way of the vine. I take your leaves, your carrying sheaves, under the windmill, jarfuls of sky. This last one is called Cemetery Shoes. It's after Van Morrison's song, Sweet Thing. I don't care who dies or what my body does, breaks, aches, grays, recedes, grows perfectly wrinkled in sea breezes, I will never grow so old again. I was a phantom. I was shrinking, but still I had a body, bones. I had time alone with the frame of the city. Fists of keys, bags of bread, tins, canteens. I had provisions. I carried all of it with me. You remember your dreams. The dance, a creature, the groom's black back, tables rocking, the bridal brigade, her ribcage, her girdle, or her river bridge, tangerine face, or presence. I could jam along and talk a lot, or shadow box, or lavender, or wear leather, or make some strange something, write a bunch of first lines, make billboards, shallow the sky with planes, cold wet government, profitability, systemic, the new frontiers of marketing, what homes will fall the next 20 years, world war pop, threat level spectacular. I will never grow so old again. Aneurysm, cell count, blood clot, stroke, Fingertips, toe tips, lips and bone marrow, animal of the tongue, performing gymnastics, chanting this guttural, this miracle. Are all seeing, ever seeing, orbs flashed open, irises drawn, unclenched, limbs brandished, fibrous, pistols performing jujitsu, cartwheels, air traffic controlling, all of our parts, all of a part, all fall apart. We meet, beards and breasts, we gather ashes, flowers, faces round the table, we candlelight walls, 
eyes and teeth tethered, shaking in our shoes, we bury our valentines beneath plank floors of cold, dark rooms. Amazed in passageways, children bury mountains, kids make sea kingdoms, fill spaces, and make spaces to fill. Our devices, spilled inkwells, the machines we play adults at. A shadow of your form captured for an instant, a giant walking in the sun, crossing country. The catastrophe, language comes bloodied in dust, silent. The things we've seen, cemetery rows glowing, galaxies marching in boots. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>